Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This time, we are going uh, to try another game on the Switch. I managed to get Outbreak, uh, which apparently I think this is the original Outbreak, uh, which this one continues on from. I'm not sure if there was a game between these two. I know there is a third, but I'm I, I I don't know, man. I don't know much about the outbreak law. God damn it, what do you want from me? Uh but this game was on sale. It was like twelve pounds or something, which <laughs> uh yeah. But uh I fired up my switch and saw it was on sale for like two pounds something and I actually had enough Nintendo points to just get it for free. So that's what I did. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I watched the developer actually do a stream of this game. Not a live stream, it was an archive stream. I don't have the internet to watch streams. Not actually kidding. Uh, I, I really don't. Um, and he seemed like a really cool guy. He was very, you know, honest about his game, blah, 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 blah. But this actually looks quite interesting. It's very different to that. This was like a weird Resident Evil <laughs> outbreak style game, I guess. This isn't. This is something different. This is like a top down, old school kind of RPG style thing. Question mark? From what I saw of, of his video. Uh, it looks. It's in a similar vein to the original GTA. I mean, that'll give you. Uh, um, an idea of what it look, looks like. One of those top-down shooters. Um, mm, interested to try this out. Anyway, let's get into it. This is the first time I've played it, by the way. I've never played this, so this is all new to me. There are violent and disturbing images in this game. Good. Good. The above icon displayed when saving. Uh -huh. Developed and presented by Drop Dead Studios. Good. Outbreak. This came out in 2016. All right. Interesting. Outbreak. So, I... Th Ooh. September 2016. A small Midwestern town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Raccoon City. Uh, 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 I mean, no. It was just another day. People going about their lives, wrapped up in their own work. The city was on the mend after a series of murders caused by an unknown killer. This is verbatim Resident Evil, pretty much. The police found him wandering in the woods. Oh. Blood dripping from his mouth. A cannibal that massacred a family on a camping trip. Okay, I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's... Those strange reports faded away. It was just a distant memory now. Everyone was safe and at ease. In one evening, seemingly out of nowhere, the attacker, the attacks resumed. People were caught off guard and fell during the onslaught. The infection spread from bites and scrapes. Before long, there was a monstrous horde. Oof. It's a very pretty cityscape, actually. Skyscape. There was no escape as the streets were engulfed in panic and the city burned. Four individuals attempted to barricade themselves within the old hospital, hoping the walls would keep the horde at bay. Uh, each there by pure coincidence, but what brought them together and forced to survive? They had many questions. Why is this why this happened? How the infected spread? But in the end, none of that mattered. Their only priority was to find a way to escape and survive. This is their evening of hell. Okay, so it's all set over an evening. Cool. Welcome to Outbreak. Thank you for purchasing and playing Outbreak. This game was created by Solo Indie. Yeah, same as before. Ah, uh... Right, so we've got an interesting... So we've got Classic Tank. Classic Survival Horror Controls. I I don't know how that's going to work in this game because... Uh, the perspective is totally different. Action. Instantly move turn based 
on direction press. Let's go for that. I mean, I'm sure we can change it. Uh, options. You know, when I was a oh, we got different characters to choose. Is there any difference? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, bye. I have no idea. Right, so we can story or play. Let's play. Campaign and Onslaught. Experience the core outbreak campaign and take on the endless hordes in Onslaught. Nightmares. A narrative vinaigrettes tailored towards a slower paced survival horror experience. Uh. Well, I mean. Let's play the campaign first and then have a look at that, maybe. Nightmares. Maybe that was like DLC at some point. I'm not sure. Or just, you know, extra content. Let's go for campaign and onslaught. Scenario tutorial. Learn the basics of survival. Consumables cannot be used. Difficulty normal. Challenge. Challenges are reasonable. Supplies are numerous. You will survive, but you won't learn the whole story. That's not what we want. Where do we change the difficulty? Select difficulty. Uh, numerous new threats. No time for preparation. Your survival isn't guaranteed, but you'll learn more about the outbreak. Biohazard. Ridiculous odds. Virtually no supplies. No aspect of the nightmare can be avoided. You will know the truth of the outbreak. Uh, so you have to play it on the hardest difficulty to get the full story. Oh, God. I mean, I would say we go middle of the road hard, but you don't get the full story. So that's... Okay, I mean, that's anus, if you ask me. I mean, no supplies, virtually no supplies. You know, to me, that doesn't sound fun. Ridiculous odds. Uh, maybe play on normal to see. Uh, I don't know. Normal sounds like... Let's just go hard, I guess. Um, we'll do the tutorial anyway. So, character Mason, a seasoned police officer and military veteran. Mason has lived in the area most of his life. Traits, damage resistance, starts with a sidearm. This UI really could have been sharpened up on the Switch. Oh, we can do local co-op. Interesting. Starting equipment. Select items to help you survive. We can have a weapon. We can have ammo. We can have healing. Let's go for ammo. Uh, oh, God. We get to choose what bullets we start off with? Well, I mean... Bullet, hang on bullets, I guess. All right, let's start. This is interesting. Tutorial on hard. So here we are. You can move forwards, backwards, and turn your character. For oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. And we have our friend as well. <laughs> Oof. Looks like there was a, a group was having a meal here. Was it abandoned quickly? Uh, probably. There's some, like, bones here as well. Alright, so hold down Y to run. Got you. Uh, your inventory stores items when you pick them up. Be careful. It has very limited space. Oh my god, yeah. Four item slots. A survival knife with a serrated edge. It's not much... Though better than your bare hands. Wait, aren't we meant to start with extra bullets? I don't know. 
Laptop is on, but there's no connection. It's useless. Right. What about this one? Okay, I can't search that one. So, Lendria with us. Can't do anything with any of these. Okay, so not everything is searchable. Let's see. What the f fuck was that? Okay. Barricade cooldown. Access the map to see the location of players, items, and other important information. Sounds useful. That's not the map. That's not the map. That's not the map. Oh, that's the gun. Alright. Fine. Can't build another barricade. How do I get my map out? Why? Oh, okay. Weapon, ammo, key. That's not bad. Right, come on then. Lendria. A weird name. Tremendous amount of blood and gore is here. What could have caused it? Uh, the monsters, maybe? Question mark? Yeah. Okay. Right, so if we go down here, which is the Y button. Apparently there is stuff. We could build barricades. Well, look for twinkling lights. They can be inspected. Oh, okay. I see. An old silver key with signs of constant use. Well, we better have that. A boombox. It has no batteries. Well, that. slap on some maiden. Snack food and bottled water are stacked here. I don't mind the visual style of this game, actually. It's completely empty. Is that like an item book? Can we use that? I don't know, man. I don't know. Right, come on, buddy. Let's go and explore this uh, place. Oh, the camera's zooming in on us. You can only run when not aiming. And moving forward. Okay. Oh. Why is it zoomed in so close? I didn't do that, by the way. Computer won't turn on. It's useless. Are we sure the computers are useless? Antibacterial spray that heals wounds. Cool. Why can't I pick that up? Oh, we can drop stuff. Oh, yes. I remember Outbreak now. You've got one button to okay everything and another button to... Yes, it's silly like that. There is food, water, and clothing piled here. It looks to be part of a drive. Okay. Um, a drive? Or drive? What are we talking about? When facing an obstacle that requires an item, you need to open your inventory, select the item, and use it. Yeah, because it makes too much sense to just, you know, be able to go into this. Oh, we didn't pick up the fucking key, did we? Out the way, love. Jesus Christ. Yes, this inventory system is going to piss me off again, isn't it? Hated the inventory system. Where was... Oh, the key was bloody miles back. Fuck's sake, Elendria. You could have said something. You know, just let me walk past the key without telling me. Uh, does she, like, have an inventory or something? I don't know. Fucking dopey bastard. There we go. Can we use her or open her inventory or something? Maybe not. I don't know. Like, what's the point in her? Has she got a gun? Can we look in... Our inventory and hers. I guess that's why it says our character. Which is Mason. And uh, in Outbreak. The, well the other one we played. We had the same thing. But um, it was just always Lydia. Because Lydia was the only character. I guess that you used the same menu system straight out of that. Which is fine. But a bit weird. Bit confusing. 
Use the silver key. Equip weapons within your inventory. You can also use combine and discard items. Yeah, you can drop stuff, apparently. Ooh. So, why would I pick up another handgun when I've already got one? Can I give it to her? Uh, oh, this gun's empty anyway. All right, well, we'll take the bullets. There's no point. Oh, right, I guess that's because we started with a handgun. I guess. That makes sense. I think it makes sense. Make sure to investigate all areas of a room. Information and supplies are often uh, hidden in desks and cabinets. Okay. The computer is non-functional. Can't use it to call for help. Well, that's a load of old ass. I don't like my computer's non-functional. There's loads of like food and stuff here. Like if we could defend this place, we could certainly survive. Oh, that's a knife, isn't it? Survival knife. Yeah, no thanks. I mean, we only have four inventory slots. Which is really quite rubbish. I don't like the fact we have to go into the black um, fog of war. Before it actually pops up. That's not great. I'm hoping... Lendria will actually do something, but I have no idea. I hate the fact that we have to be in the darkness before it actually springs in. A corpse lies here on the floor. Looks like it was a slow death. You sure? Can you tell? Looks like just like a pile of bones to me, but okay. Oh, men. Oh, they're toilets. Right, I see. Yes, women, men. Right. Okay, that works, I guess. What's that? I have no idea. Ah, bollocks! And I put that square block down. There was a key there. Blocked? Right, hang on. I guess we can go this way. I mean, it's a, it says it's a barricade, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Some obstacles can be opened with a lockpick when playing as Lendria. Oh. Can we, like, select her? Can we change characters? Guess not. Like, it doesn't seem like there's any reason to have her tagging along if she doesn't do anything. Uh, I mean, it's nice not to feel alone. I mean, could she die? She die? Oh, right. That's not a dead end. Camera will not always follow you. Sometimes it will become locked or zoomed in and out. Yeah, that's really irritating. Not a fan of that. The desk is soaked in blood. Cool. We have a gold key. Yes, a gold key for the door. Right, what's down here? Some things are locked and require codes to open. Search the environment for the codes. Okay. Blood is leaking from the vent. What's inside of it? Uh, Abnex, maybe? Right, enter the combination, which we don't have. It'll be stuck in the corner there. Oh, okay. Sometimes our department has to handle extremely volatile evidence while it's being transferred. One of the other detectives stopped by with a loaded handgun from the recent murder case. During the renovations happening in the usual storage location, I had to stash it there. It's in the safe with the combo code 1123. Paper. So we need out. Out. Uh, so eleven twenty three fifty eight. Almost on half an hour as well. Is that the safe down here? 
11, 23, 50. You release the lock. Uh, not enough inventory space to pick up the handgun. Yeah, this four space inventory is kind of lame. Let's drop that for now. How much is in that hang? How much is in that handgun? Fifteen. Uh, can we look at it? Difficult, Lauren. Okay. Semi-auto model. How do we select? Fine. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mm, I don't know about this, guys. <laughs> um, I guess we'll get through it. I actually thought this game looked more interesting than the other, but healing mission player. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep going. Wait, see what happens when we come up to some zombies. I, mean, I don't know why we can hear rain, because... We're in a building. Yeah. I'm guessing. Sooner rather than later, we're going to have zombies. Oh, God. All right, what have we got? All these items. Chemical that enhances the healing properties of other salves. Cannot be used on its own. Yeah, well, I've got, like, no inventory space. Uh, basic healing. So that's a, re that's a green herb, obviously. That doesn't do anything. Green salves can be used on its lonesome to heal minor wounds. When it's combined with a red salve, it becomes extraordinarily potent. The blue salve can be used to cure most types of poison. When a blue salve is combined with the purple salve, it takes on incredible properties and will heal virtually any wound completely. Uh, okay. Right. Looks like someone's working on the floor. There's the remains of a meal and a laptop here. Oh, we'll leave all that stuff up there. You must aim your weapon before you can attack. You cannot move whilst aiming. Right. Ooh. There is a lot of handguns here. Yeah, we'll have it. We'll have more bullets as well. Yes. So how many... So we've got three guns. Like, what does she have? Can't tell me that she doesn't have a single gun. Not much here. There's a load of magazines on the floor. Got a safe. Oh, wait. Couch looks comfortable. I think somebody was resting here recently. Yeah. Alright, so where do we save? Once you enter the large room ahead, the zombies won't stop coming. Reach the... Oh, God. Infinite enemies? Really? Okay. Okay. More debris from the recent food drive. Have any extra bits and pieces? So we've got unlimited enemies coming down here. Enemies can strike and spray toxic gas if you grab. So you'll be helpless until they let you go. Oh, God. Not enough inventory space. To oh, so we can only hold... Lot of weapons here, Chief. Lot of weapons. I'm gonna try. Try the. Uh, let's drop. Uh, let's drop that. Cannot drop because it's equipped. Not equipped now, game. 
Um, no, we. Uh, it's not going to let us pick it up, is it? Right, that's the M150 anti-personnel grenade launcher with good range. Has been retrofitted from a military model. Sure. And uh, let's try the shotgun for size as well. 12 gauge. Okay, there's a lot of weapons here. We have no weapons uh, equipped. So I guess the mission is there. That's where we escape. Go. Oh, there's a zombie. Um. Okay. Is yeah. I mean, performance issues are still very much a thing here, by the looks of stuff. Like you know, there was a, quite the delay before firing. Almost as if the game was struggling to load in the actual uh, animation for the gun going off. On higher difficulties, there may be additional items with greater risk. Uh, shotgun. Well, let's just get out of here. Oh, see, see what? See how that's bullshit. I mean, luckily she's got a weapon, which is cool. But can you see how arse that is? Like the room didn't even load in before I was getting eaten. That's terrible game design. That's awful game design. Like look at that. Look at that. That is terrible guys. I don't know if I'm a fan of this to be honest. You know, if you can't be asked to even get that right, that's not fantastic at all. Again, my gun's just not working. Why is the screen going all weird like that? You can build barricades. Temporarily stop enemies. They'll break after a few hits. Okay. I mean, the idea is a thing. It's not horrible. But little things like, you know, not having an area take seven years to load in so the enemies can get free hits on you. That's really bad. Like the second, really, as soon as you you're within a few squares of that, it should open up. Look at that, evac zone. Got no gun equipped. Whatever gun she's got is firing blanks. Yeah, also the the controls really aren't that great. Right, well, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Um, I'm going to leave this uh, a couple of days after I upload it, I think. And let me know what you think. If you want to see more of this, we'll progress with it. If not, uh, yeah. <laughs> Might just leave this one to the pilot. Because... I don't know, man. I was expecting more. This is hampered by very slack. No, what, what would you say? Very laggy controls. And I don't like that awful inventory that we've got. Four item slots. That's really shit. And on top of everything else, the fact that rooms don't load until you're already in them, so zombies get free hits on you. That's terrible. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, we'll... Yeah, maybe... Mm. If anyone's interested, we will continue with this one. But as it stands now, I'm not sure, Chief. I'm not sure. So, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know, and as always, till next time. I mean, it could be funny. <laughs>